inches. Uh, this is my third stand with the shockwave. Um, I just dropped a coyote right out in front of me, about 150 yards right, right about where my gun is pointed. Um, it's lying out there. Um, wind is blowing straight south. Just kind of look at the layout. There's my shockwave right there. I got a mojo going with it. Um, that way right there is facing south where the wind is coming from. Um, I'm pretty much looking right at it. Um, the coyote, like I said, it's out there about 150 yards. Um, it came through all these trees. I was getting my howler out to start howling. And uh, I just caught some movement way out there, about 300, maybe 300 yards, 250 yards behind all those trees. Um, way out there. It kind of just trotted along real slow. Um, I was playing cagey cottontail. Um, it just moved along right through, um, came out behind that behind that, that tree right in front of me right there, that old stubbly looking tree. Um, it was behind there a ways. Um, I was, like I said, I was facing out to my right. I was facing out that way. Um, that's how I set up looking. Um, that, this way down here was kind of downwind, so I wasn't really expecting anything. But uh, anyways, it came across right when he got behind that little fat stubby tree right there. I was able to move and put my put my rifle pretty much right where out right online where it's at right now. Um, it just continued to move. I just let KG Cottontail play. Um, it kept looking up. It looked interested, but it looked like it was just kind of moseying through the valley here. And uh, it happened to stop and look right up at the uh, collar. Gave me a nice easy shot at about 150 yards. Say that's out there. It might actually be about 200 yards, actually. It's a ways out there. But, uh, anyways, this is it. Another stand down, another coyote down.